Donegan. Short side for Paul. They look to switch it back in field here. Paul Lockley, Bradford keep the ball moving. And uh, it looks as though they might try and stretch Halifax on the outside. Still, we look for the first try of the afternoon. And this is going to be it. And the Bradford Bulls go over. Uh, they can't win at Odsal, I'll tell you. There was Dwyer. I kind of noticed that Tamani had come in field from the play of the ball. He seems very eager to get involved. And now Brian McDermott, who was a professional boxer, gets involved in some fisticuffs here. And the referee is in quickly. <laughs> Hazard of the job, I'm afraid. And Carl Harrison has been brought alongside Anderson. And Anderson will go. Much to the delight of the Bulls fans. But I think McDermott could go too. Yes, he will. So both sides are reduced to 12 men for the next 10 minutes. So no more than five metres away from that Halifax try line now. And Bradford will look for their second score of the afternoon. And they'll switch it long. And surely they'll try and get Tamari in. The ball, they don't need him. They do not need him. And the try is given. Harrison. He's the one that you'd expect to carry the fight. And Rowley always makes good yardage, but offside surely against Dwyer, not given, which is why I think Dwyer didn't continue with his tackle. So Rowley gets the ball back in here. Well taken on by Simon Baldwin. Then the switch. And then from Amanga, who'll be looking again, and Perrett's here. And Mark Perrett will stretch and he will score too. And Halifax are on the board. Thanks to Mark Perrett, who was up at the shoulder in support. Amanga was involved too, but Mark Perrett taking the pass and galloping the 10 metres he had to do to breach the Bradford line. Well, I think uh, Bernard Dwyer initially in offside position had older role he once over. Uh, Rowley allowed to go five or six more metres, gave Halifax the chance to uh, set up that attacking position. I was just thinking that Stuart Spruce is spending a lot of time in the Bradford line and perhaps a kick over the top might benefit Halifax. But uh, Brewer came up with the inside pass perfectly to Perry, and Perry still had a lot of work to do from 10 metres out, but managed to get over for a, a reply that Halifax desperately needed. They're piecing it together much better now, and Rowley there. Harrison, 15 metres out. Brewer, lovely little inside ball, and there is a really excellent try for Halifax. Micah Manga coming up in the ball was excellent, and Manga had only a matter of yards, he had a stroll into the line. And uh, Halifax are right back in this game now, and what a signing Micah Manga has been. Well, he has, but it's, uh, it's Paul Rowley and Johnny Brewer that's brought Halifax back into this game. Rowley's darting run from the acting half position using the Bradford man as the uh, shield original it but again it gave Halifax that extra bit of time to set up the position and John Brewer's ball Bradford falling for the sucker punch twice in three minutes as Brewer's inside pass here's the substitute forward who's on at the moment this is Craig Dean and Moana Dean really orchestrating a lovely move and Johnny Schuster might get another one for Halifax here just didn't have the pace to get out of Spruce's tackle but still Halifax are here with Moana and in and Halifax have another score for sure and Mike Amanga has his second and Halifax's third try Schuster with the original break there he took play to within 10 metres of the Bradford line and then good backup play involving Moana and finally Omanga and Bradford have really been punished for some slack work well they've got Graham Bradley to thank him for that of Halifax and uh, I don't think Steve Sims game plan this week involved Bradford losing possession over the Halifax line and then and in uh, a gift wrap ball for which Halifax capitalised. Schuster, well, perhaps uh, the leg's getting a bit uh, a bit old for the run towards the line, but Amanga was there, poaching ever. And uh, to say he's playing fullback, he's spending like Spruce a lot of time up in the attacking line. And uh, well, I said earlier about five tries again. Well, he's got two. There's a long way to go, but he was there at the right time again. Remember, Halifax have an eight-point advantage. And here goes Laughlin, and he was so close. Now it's Robbie Paul. Good, keen, eager tackling from Halifax, though. They kept Paul out. Sonny Nicol, they're not going to keep him out. 
He's in on the field, less than 60 seconds. Sonny Nicol goes storming in over the Halifax Blue Sox line, and the Bulls are right back in it. It was Fairbank who was first up there, then Dwyer. This is Tomlinson now. The reverse ball is a good one, and Stuart Spruce will go for the line. And Stuart Spruce is to within... Oh, they haven't got him down yet. He might get there even now. Touch the ball down, the Bradford players leap. He's given the try. Well, that was close. It owed everything to tenacity. And Stuart Spruce takes the Bulls back into the lead. Tomlinson has certainly been more effective on this afternoon than Robbie Paul was. Here come Bradford now, little chip ahead. Medley will gather and he'll carry on and he'll pass the ball inside. Referee says play on and a try for Matt Callan. And Bradford both score. Halifax seemed to stand still. Medley was the one who made the original plunge towards the Blue Sox line. It went through three pairs of hands and at the end of it all, Matt Callan is over. Onto his shoulder comes Matt Calland, scorer of the last Bulls try. Still going, got to get the ball away, that he does to Laughlin. Oh, and the interception is made, and Halifax are going to score here. He won't get there, won't Spruce, and it's going to be a try for Schuster. Well, in the first half, Schuster almost got there. It was said he'd lost some of his pace. He had enough to outstrip Stuart Spruce there. And from a position where the Bradford Bulls look certain to score, the action switches straight to the other end of the field. Schuster gets the try, and it's Halifax Blue Sox in front. Oh, well, they will, they'll be level when they get this goal. Well, I think I'm another man that won't be getting a, a drink in Halifax tonight. I've, uh, I've had a few nightmares this afternoon. Call it wrong on a couple of occasions. And I've just said that the Blue Sox would struggle to get to the other end of the field. And the man, who I said had lost a bit of his pace in the first half, races onto the interception, outpaces Spruce, who's not short of pace, and scores a try which he will surely convert from in front of the post to make it all square again. Acting half a manga, score of two tries today for the Blue Fox, and they're into a great position for a drop, but they won't need it. Here goes John Bentley. Pin down, but the situation is perfect here for Halifax to go for that drop, and Schuster, he may have done it. It's sailing high and it's sailing handsome and John Schuster may well have won the match for Halifax Blue Sox. There was a roar went up from the Halifax fans, massed behind the uprights there. They knew from the moment it left his left boot that that was going straight between, sailing between the sticks. And it's now Bradford Bulls 26, Halifax Blue Sox 27. With that final hooter, there it is, and Halifax Blue Sox have won a famous victory at Odsall. You'd have thought they'd just won the Challenge Cup. And uh, Steve Sims, who didn't endear himself to people here at Bradford earlier in the season when he said that they would finish halfway down the league, was off the bench there to punch the area. They've taken the spoils. Bradford have been in front for long spells of this match. But at the end of the day, it's the Blue Sox who snatched the victory. Thanks very much to Johnny Schuster, who got a late interception try, a conversion and a drop goal. And he, along with Mike Amanga, who got two first-half tries, have helped Halifax win the day. And Bradford, for whom Stuart Spruce, the man of the match, was outstanding with two tries, have been beaten here for the first time this season.